Hey everyone. Well, it's time for monthly prayer. The first Wednesday of every month, we get together to pray for our church, community, and our nation. We pray for, you know, pray for as long as you can, but, you know, generally we're praying from 7 to 7.30 on that first Wednesday, so we're all praying together in unison. You can pray longer. If you can only pray 10, 15 minutes, do so. Just come before the Lord in prayer. I have a couple of uh, new prayer requests I want to highlight tonight for our time of prayer. But just before I do, I want to mention in Thessalonians, you know, Paul says to rejoice always. Pray all the time. You know, pray without ceasing. And that doesn't mean like pray all day long, every minute, but it just have that mindfulness of, of God. And to give thanks in everything for this is the will of God and and again you know and I've mentioned this before but I wanted to bring it up again because I don't give thanks to God for everything that happens I give thanks to God in spite of so in in everything in other words the things I'm going through the circumstances that are happening I'm giving thanks to God and so tonight I don't want you to forget that in your prayer you know we can thank God no matter what's happening and, and there's been some really rough things that's happened. For instance, our first you know, prayer request is for all those who are still dealing with the effects of the winter storm in our area, uh, especially those that are without power. And, and you, know, you can see that listed below. We have the prayer points listed there. But it, this winter storm caught a lot of people by surprise. And because of that, people are in a, a rough situation. Many are in rough. I, I, my family and I, we've... Um, been blessed to the the power just kind of flickered a couple of times but for the most part it, it, it I mean it has stayed on 99.9% .9 of the time so we've had um, power so we've been blessed with that we've got you know plenty of food and water and all of that but I know there are so many out there that do not especially those that were caught on the interstate for so long uh, because of this storm so let's let's pray for all those who were affected by this storm and then also, I want us to uh, pray for all those who are dealing with the recent uptick in the in the COVID cases. You know, we want to pray for the first responders, the doctors, nurses, hospital staff. I, I've been on the phone with uh, urgent care facilities, the emergency room. It's a long wait. Church, our, our hospitals and our urgent care facilities are they're they're overwhelmed there there is an uptick you know however you, what your feelings are in COVID you need to set that aside and you need to pray for these people here who are dealing with all of these people coming in they're stressed they're overwhelmed in many cases they're scared you know the good news um even with this uptick there's always a bright side and it seems to me and this is the bright side is the the new variant the the Omicron is is less severe and, and and that's good you know we're not going to see the deaths like we did with the delta variant and the original strain so um that that's a really good thing and so here's how we want to pray on this we want to pray that covid continuing continues to to just weaken and weaken itself out of here you know you, i've heard people say well covid's here to stay well it doesn't have to stay in the way that it is now or you know, hey, you know what? It doesn't have to stay in your house. You know, you take authority over it. I've had COVID here in the house. There's, there, you know, four or five of us have had COVID. I, I don't know if I'm asymptomatic or whatever it is. I, I It doesn't matter to me. I, I haven't been affected at all, but everyone else in my house has been and had, had a lot of symptoms. So what we want to do is pray that this thing continues to weaken and just gets on out of here. We can have faith for that. I, I serve a God that is the God of the impossible, which means COVID's not over God. Uh, it's under our feet. So church, that everything is under our feet, including COVID that comes against us. So um, let's pray for this just to get on out of here. Continue to weaken and, and go. And the other prayer requests are, the, are, are some of the same ones that we've had um, previously, but they're still important, which is for all in our nation to honor God and his word for the church in America to shake off complacency and be led by the Spirit, you know, submitting to Him in all things, for protection of the members of the Connection Church, uh, wisdom for the leadership, you know, moving forward with all the things that, that, that we're doing. And church, you know, it's the beginning of the year. I want to tell you, please take some time and fast. You know, 
don't just choose a, a day right now in this time of year. This time of year, the beginning time of year, fast for a few days, you know, or for a week or for a couple of weeks. Put aside, you know, maybe it's fasting sugar, maybe it's fasting all food, but fast uh, before God, make that sacrifice and replace the time that you would spend eating in prayer. So um, after I'm done here praying, I'm going to pray. After I'm done praying, you continue to pray. Pray for as long as you can. Father God, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you for your presence and we thank you for the opportunity to come together and pray together as your church. And Father, we just lift up all those who have been affected by this winter storm. Lord, I thank you for intervening. Lord, give the workers who are out there trying to restore electricity, may they do it speedily, Father God, and do it safely and be able to get people's power back on. Lord, those that are that are dealing, that are cold, Lord, I thank you that you warm them. Lord, those that, that are hungry, those that are thirsty, Father God, you fill them. Lord, just use those around them that, that, that have what they need to give to them, Father. Lord, we just thank you and praise you for that. Lord, just touch all those in our urgent care facilities and hospitals, the nurses, doctors, all the first responders. Lord, those that are overwhelmed with the uptick of, of, of the COVID and uh, Omicron. Lord, I thank you that this virus, it's weakening. And, and we say that COVID is under our feet right now. And we just command COVID to go out in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So hopefully you agreed with that prayer. Um, we'll be on here the same way you're listening now on Sunday at 10 a.m., but we'll also be at Garfield High School. Lord willing, we should be there. Um, that is our plan. I know they're calling for some snow on Thursday night again. I know that's something a lot of you did not want to hear just now. But uh, uh, earlier today when I checked, maybe it's maybe it's different now. I'm, I'm not sure, but it was like one to three inches when I, when I checked earlier. But uh, let's just continue to pray and seek God and I'll see you on Sunday at Garfield. God bless.